analog walkie talkie is a pretty cool invention. This is the first step of today's cell phone. See here, I have made a transmitter and receiver in a very simple way, which is working also very well. But I did a lot of stupid thing that you can see in this video. And I believe you will never make mistake like me. And hopefully you know guys in my previous video I made a transmitter without any coil for my walkie talkie. Where the transmitter is working very nicely and whose frequency is really very stable. That you know. And after few days then I made another video which is receiver for this transmitter. Also this receiver is not bad. Pretty good. So that is why I thought maybe everything would be fine. And with that in my mind I decide to make a physical PCB for it. And that is why I ordered from jlcpcb.com. And you all know guys that is a very good company for PCB. Just you need to upload your graph file and choose a PCB for any color absolutely free of cost. And the PCB quality is really very great. And you can get many benefits like stencil, SMT, PCB panel, PCB thickness just within $2. For more information you can visit the jlcpcb website. So far so good. Look at this PCB. In this PCB, I designed the transmitter section, receiver section, amplifier section, PPL section, everything. Also, I even ordered 10 PCB so I could make more in the future. Even I designed a 3D case for it so that I could see a beautiful look on my walkie talkie. But what is it that make me so disappointed? That is why was the video till the end. For the first test I made a receiver and audio section on this PCB. Another PCB just made the transmitter so I can see if everything is working properly or not. To do the first test I connect this speaker cable to this receiver from the audio amplifier section. And as well as I will connect the fiber plug with this board. On the other hand I will add a bluetooth module here to connect the transmitter to my phone. The power of which I will take from this transmitter board. Next the output signal I will connect this transmitter. And then I will attach the small antenna to this transmitter. And after then definitely I will give my transmitter 5 volt power source. I don't forget to select transmitter mode because the receiver section is not here. And at the same time I switched on my receiver and turn on the receiver mode with it. And hopefully you can listen this receiver snow sound. And after then I will go to the bluetooth section on my phone and connect my bluetooth device. Next I will select the 1 kHz frequency from the frequency generator application. To receive 24 MHz frequency, definitely I keep tuning on this trimmer capacitor. And after a while, I heard a specific sound and I realized it was my transmitting frequency. I tried to capture my frequency very nicely but I did not get much success. And listen, the transmitting frequency tone. It is really very poor quality. Even after then, I tried a lot but I did not get any good result. Therefore, it is not suitable for my walkie talkie because this receiver is very useless. And look at this board. This board has a very complex component in it that can confuse your brain. And for that I have to believe that is by no means possible to make a proper walkie talkie. For that I can back the previous method again. And again I will try to make a receiver with very little components. And I believe I will get a better result from it. So with all those decisions in my mind I made another transmitter that way I had made a transmitter before. And guys it is very easy. If you want to know more about it. Then you can watch my transmitter separate video. And see this is the transmitter and this is the receiver. There is some slightly different between transmitter and receiver. But you will know exactly in the next video. And after then I used a LM386 IC to receive the sound. And it is really very good IC for this type of project. Also in my transmitter section I am using here LM386 IC as a mic free amplifier. Ok you can see my receiver and transmitter is totally done and I will connect the 5 volt power source with it and I do same with my transmitter and notice that whenever I touch the input of the transmitter section the sound of noise is heard in the speaker of my receiver section and see the feedback sound coming from this receiver speaker just as we are bringing to the mic to this speaker. Ok guys now let's transmit something boys. Ok guys this is without coil walkie talkie. This walkie talkie transmit 24 megahertz. The sound quality is not great but usable. And you can see it is transmitting really well without any noise. Ok now if I want to play some music here. With that in my mind I connect the bluetooth transmitter and again I played some music from my phone. And see my receiver played music without any problem. And the sound quality is really great. Now you can see guys it is possible to use in a professional work. 
but in this case i have to say that it is really covering a very short distance note more than 100 meter so for the more distance you have to wait for the next video in the next video we will get the circuit diagram all the information about it okay guys this is today's short video if you don't like this video then you can dislike it and if you like this video please like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel see you in the next video stay well and stay healthy